Tubers, growers, smokers. Check out the garden. We're on day uh, 26 of bloom. Everything's going pretty smoothly. I do have a few issues though. We'll get to those here in a few minutes. Get a load of these buds. There's the blue dream cross. Looking as pretty as ever. Okay, so this is what I meant by I'm having a few issues in the garden. See these yellow leaves here? Started in. It's only happened to these back few plants, alright? I didn't catch this in time, okay? But I wanted you guys to see this. See, this is not that big of a problem. I mean, it's a problem, don't get me wrong. But I want you guys to understand if this happens in your garden, don't give up. You know, you can fix it, you'll get there, and you'll figure it out. So I actually caught this problem a little late, that's why it's so advanced. But what's happened is my uh, the pH in my cocoa in these particular plants has been off. Okay, I've needed to flush them out. They've just been catching more salts than uh, the rest of my plants, and they've been hanging in there more. Alright, so what I had to do is I had to flush these plants out real good. And uh, I believe I fixed the problem. So, shouldn't have to deal with any more leaves going crazy. But, the leaves that you see that are yellow, like these ones, they're, they're done, they're toast. They are yellow. And I'm not going to get those leaves back. So I've effectively kind of de-leafed my crop a little bit back here. Which, you know, that could be a good thing. But that's okay. See, these plants, they're fine. They're going to recover. And I'm not really going to suffer a huge yield loss. Alright. Now, of course, we want to see this in the past, uh, in the last few weeks of flower. But we're only on day 26, so that means these plants are three weeks old in five days. They're in their, they're in their fourth week. But like I said, it's okay, man. So I have the problem fixed. Everything will go smoothly from here on out. And I bet you I don't suffer that much of a yield loss from this. Okay. So, if you guys have problems with your plants, don't go crazy. If you don't know what's going on, get on the forums, ask somebody. Somebody will help you. Ask me, I'll help you. Ask any of the other YouTube growers, we will all help you. That's why we do this stuff, guys. I don't do this for fame. I hope the other guys don't do it for fame. I do this to help people. This started as a video journal for myself a while back and it's just turned into something so much better I've helped a lot of people in their gardens and I hope to help a lot more people so no matter what happens in your garden you're learning okay if you have powdery mildew it sucks but you're learning you're learning what not to do and that's good that's how you become an awesome grower okay so don't ever fear this this is going to happen to every grower out there, okay? Something along this lines will happen. You can be growing for 20 years and this shit can happen to you. It just happens. With that said, guys, 
I really like what these lights are doing for me. Let me go ahead and back out real quick. In front of you is the Vero 29 setup. So I have a six, 600 watts of Vero 29 powered by Meanwell drivers. I really do love what the plants do under these lights. Mars Hydros ain't doing too bad. That's what the purple is that you see in here. And over here. Alright guys, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button while you're down there. Hit that subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Go check me out on Instagram. You'll see a lot of cool pictures and up to date. Uh, live videos most of my videos are two weeks out alright so you guys won't even see this for another week or two who knows I might post it quick style to catch up but anyway get over there go check me out and uh, you guys have a great day peace